Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. A lot has happened since my last vlog. We moved. We moved to another Emirates. The apartment is a lot bigger than the other one, which is also an Emma. Alhamdulillah. We went to Sweden for one and a half months during our summer break and it was lovely. Alhamdulillah, I got to spend some time with my family. The kids loved it. But yeah, guys, I don't want to sit here and ramble too much. Our new apartment, Allahumma Barik, we have a masjid in front of us. We have a masjid to the left. We have a masjid to the right. So but we also kind of live on a street. That's the one thing I don't like about this place is that the cars it's like 24 7. you hear them 24 7. but compared to the other place i'm not going to complain i'm so much more happier in, at this place i have so much more space the kids have so much more space for their toys their room is huge my room is huge i have a separate kitchen alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i'm so happy here and even though this emirate is a lot more quiet than the other one it's a lot more traditional and a lot more I don't know how to say it, but it feels like you're in the desert, kind of, which I like. I actually like it. But I'm going to show you guys the view, though. I mean, it's not wow, but just to, like looking outside of your window, like I have windows in my kitchen as well. I'm going to show you later. But when I'm standing there doing the dishes and I'm looking out, I can see the masjid. Like that in and of itself is such a ni'mah for me, like so calming. And the fact that I can, you got, I can hear adhan now. I can hear adhan from my house. That has been like one of my top dreams ever. The fact that I can, I don't have to look at my watch. I don't have to have a reminder. I don't have to have any apps. <laughs> That's Maria yelling in the background. Um, I kept her at home today, by the way, because she's not really feeling very well. Miss Kina, she had to just stay at home. So she's just watching TV right now. You know what? I've been rambling for quite some time. Let me just go check what she wants. It's the dark under eyes for me, subhanAllah. That's okay, that one looks like makeup. I'm just kidding. No, but what I wanted to do is, I'm gonna show you just my view from my bedroom. How pretty, subhanAllah. So what I like to do is, when it's time for adhan, I like to open up the windows so I can fully, fully hear adhan. And it's just so soothing. And I'm so grateful, honestly. Like that was one of my biggest dreams. And I can't believe that I can just walk down around the corner of my building and I'm at the masjid. I love it. Islam, reflection holds a profound place, serving as a path towards deeper faith and understanding. When we take a moment to reflect on Allah's creation, the vastness of the sky, the rhythm of the ocean, the intricate design of every leaf and grain of sand, we are reminded of Allah's unmatched power and wisdom. This contemplation helps us realize that nothing is random or without purpose. Every element of this universe is a sign pointing to the greatness of its creator. Reflecting on Allah himself, on his names, attributes, brings tranquility to the heart. It strengthens our relationship with him, reminds us that he is always present, the all-knowing, the merciful, and the provider. In the busy pace of life, taking time to reflect on Allah's perfection allows us to align our actions with his guidance, to seek purpose beyond the temporary, and to foster a heart filled with gratitude and humility. Reflection is an act of worship. It is through reflection that we deepen our awareness of the blessings we have, develop patience through trials, and cultivate a heart softened by the understanding that everything in life, both seen and unseen, is a part of Allah's divine plan. 
This is the outfit that I'm going for. I'm gonna go and pick up the kids. I'm wearing my mahawara underneath. This is one of my favorite ones. It's stunning. Don't mind the clothes, I just folded the laundry and hung up the new one. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't look this dressed up ever when I go to pick up or drop off the kids, but today I felt like, you know, let me get dressed up for you guys and I just wanna feel good. So, also, just before I go, this has become my all-time favorite scent ever. Um, I found it in Alhamra Mall in Ras Al before um, I moved here. It was like totally random. This guy stopped us and he gave me um, a sample and I I was hooked and I couldn't like forget about it. I went to Sweden and I came back. I was like, I need to go back to that mall and get that perfume. And it's this one, new favorite. He also gave me the oil, like the body oil, um, but yes, obsessed. I just went to drop the kids off. I came back home, had my breakfast, tidied up the house a little bit, and then I got ready because Ala and I have been trying to meet up for I don't know how long. We've been trying since, I think, before we went, to, or after we came back from Sweden because both her and I moved. Um, so today I'm gonna go and meet her up inshallah at her new place. I still haven't seen her apartment, so that's gonna be fun. So I just went with this kabaya. I feel like I'm wearing the same thing all the time, but you know, I need to build up my wardrobe. I don't really know what our plans are. I'm just gonna go to her place and then we're gonna see what we wanna do from there inshallah. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm actually doing something I've never done before. I'm going to head downstairs because I have a spa in my building. I've never ever done like a manicure and pedicure. I always do it myself at home. And now um, it's that time of the month for me, hence the nails. And I was just like, you know what? Let me actually try out a pedicure. But why am I nervous? <laughs> I've never done, I've never ever had a manicure and a pedicure like I've had my nails done before like acrylics and stuff like that but that was way before that was when I was you know a teenager and didn't know better but I've never gone for like a self-care manicure pedicure I've never done anything like that and then for me to go now and then do it alone tell me why I'm nervous like I need to but this is good though I need to I need to start doing stuff like this and get out of my comfort zone but it's just like why do i have why is the first time for me going doing something like this alone like how how can i be nervous about a pedicure i don't get it anyways i'm gonna go now i'm not sure if i'll be able to film inside i will try not me trying to film in a salon like i'm too nervous to go inside to get like a pedicure but then i'm gonna film like i don't think i'm gonna film. anyways i'm gonna go now So I'm not really sure where where I ended the vlog. I think it was when I was at the spa doing the pedicure thing. Anyways, um, it's a couple hours later, same day, but a couple of hours later. I'm actually about to head out to meet none other than Ala and Farah. Who else would I meet? Anyways, and I think I'm doing this habaya. I'm not sure if you can tell. I mean, it's really dark outside, and I the lights in my room are not that great but it's a regular black habaya and it has like these sparkly rhinestones on the sleeves and it goes down the sides as well i just feel the most comfortable in black like an all black outfit 
and usually I don't wear niqab but I thought I was gonna bring you guys with me also I don't mind wearing a niqab from time to time it makes me feel really I don't know I kind of like it I don't know what bag I should do with this outfit though should I do this one I'm not sure I can't really tell hmm or maybe this one. This one is so cute. I don't know though. Or maybe my Prada one. I feel like this is the same this one. Conflicted guys. I mean, I wish I could ask you guys, but we're not gonna see this on like a week well, Hopefully earlier than a week and also I feel like the settings are like really dark Hopefully they're not because I can't do anything about it now, but yeah Also, it's that time of the month for me hence the nails obviously You know just want to get that out there in case anyone wants to comment that Let's do some jewelry. I love this ring. This is one of my favorite rings. Like, And then I really love this little simple bracelet. I like this one as well. I love to stack jewelry. I wasn't like this though, you guys. Like when I moved here, my style and my taste for jewelry and clothes and everything like that everything changed which i mean is understandable obviously you're going to adapt what else can we do do we do this one do we like that i mean you're barely going to see it anyways it's just for me i like it and i think i'm just going to go with my regular gucci it's just the easiest bag to wear and I could just throw it over my shoulder. It's cute, it goes with everything. And it's simple, like, I don't really feel like holding a bag. This is how you know that you're a mother. In the bag. This is what I have in the bag. I'm just waiting for Ala. She's driving from her place to mine. And then we're, I'm gonna drive us to Farah's place. And far as here as well. Hi. <laughs> We're at Denzo's. Guys, winter is coming. Oh, hi, by the way. I haven't been on the vlog for a while. So, hi. I mean, neither have I. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy she's vlogging again. Yeah, alhamdulillah. I'm back. Who else shopping. is happy? Oh my god, guys, this is so awkward because. Oh, you're, you're holding it. You're yeah. definitely holding it because I'm not holding it now. Well, we don't live here anymore, so who cares? And also, I'm not going to lie, the niqab is really helping. Yeah. I don't feel that shy. So basically, we're sat outside. No, but winter's coming because it's actually cold, right? Alhamdulillah, you can actually sit outside. Hello. I got a Spanish. That looks amazing. And Farah and Awara got, uh, what's that called again? Strawberry shortcake. matcha. Strawberry, Strawberry. Shortcake. Shortcake. shortcake matcha. Shortcake. Oh, shortcake matcha. Wow, okay. thank you so much. We've got our drinks. I mean, uh, okay, have you tasted it yet? No, I've never tried a really good matcha. I don't know what the deal is. Everyone seems to love them, but I've never tried a good one. And now Farah just tried this one. What do you one. think, Farah? Show, like show your drink. I think grass with a bit of strawberry milk. See, that's what I said. Is, Every it, is single that one. nice though, grass? No, not really. <laughs> this is why, guys, I stick to what I know. But can I just say the color is still nice? Yeah, it looks pretty. I think we it got it really for pretty. the color. Yeah, I think so. I did some shopping. Um, the last time I vlogged was when we were out with the girls and it was such a lovely day as usual. I always have so much fun with Ala and Farah. It's a little bit sad now that all of us live in different places. So it's a bit more difficult to get together and have our nights out than it was before, but we will always make an effort to have each other time. Anyways, we went shopping. Every time we go out, there's this little shop that we go to and I've been eyeing this pajama set for I don't know how long. I've been into this shop for several times and I always try to haggle the price down, but she will not budge, the lady that works there. 
and this time I was just like, you know what? I've been thinking about this piece for like months. Let me just go get it. So I did. And I'm gonna show you guys. I have already taken it out and tried it on, but I'm gonna take it out and show you guys. It's so cute. You know when you just wanna look cute in your house and you just don't wanna look like a bag of potatoes all the time, but you still wanna be comfortable. This is it. So it's a three piece set. It comes in this little tank top. Well, it's not little, it's like a regular tank top. And the fabric is cotton. And like, let me show you a close up. How cute. I love this. So it comes in the tank top. It comes with a robe in the same pattern, same material, same everything. But the robe has like lacing on the sides. I mean, it's really hard to show you guys, but it's like this, like a regular robe. But then it comes with the lacing there. So cute to just throw on in the mornings. And then the trousers or the pants, I don't know what to call it, but yes. So cute, same material. It's like really soft, cottony, stretchy. And I thought I was gonna get really hot sleeping in these, but so breathable, so nice. It was really worth it. And now I'm thinking I should have got more, which I probably will, but she only had this, um, this flower print in stock. Well, it was this one and another one, but they were very similar. So I was like, you know what? Let me just wait until she gets different colors in and I'm definitely gonna get more. And then I wasn't supposed to, but I did get a new abaya. I have the same abaya in a different color, but I found like, it's like a beige, silver, champagne-y organza, I think. How pretty is this though? Like, look at the sleeves. And then it's like double layered, has a slip here, but it's like a piece underneath as well. Also, it came with an underdress in the same color, just a regular underdress and a shela or hijab like so and that is what i got other than that we just went to the cafe and had a little coffee and dessert and it was just nice to just sit down and talk to them and just have some time for just us yeah also i know i've mentioned it now several times throughout the vlog but i want to do it again i am not a niqabi i don't wear niqab regularly I don't wear it in my day-to-day -day life. I just wear it on social media for privacy reasons. I don't know, that might change tomorrow. I might change my mind, I might take it. I might wanna show my face. But as of right now, I feel the most comfortable like this. Um, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please subscribe, leave a comment on what you guys wanna see next. I mean, I'm gonna continue doing my vlogs, but if there's anything else you guys want me to film, let me know and like this video and i'll see you guys in my next one assalamu alaikum